Hey guys, Rhett here. What's going on? Want to talk today about something that I've heard a hundred times, and I'm not sure if you have too, but basically people say, oh, well, you're a Section 8 real estate investor. You must take advantage of poor people. Come on. People who say that are ignorant, are not very smart, and, and don't really understand what we're doing, right? You guys know on this channel, it's not about retiring in 12 months, which is complete BS. It's not about finding real estate investment deals that you can get into for $2,000. Again, BS. We talk about the truth. And whether it's good, bad, ugly, we talk about it here. We always have. We always will. So when people say Section 8 real estate investors are taking advantage of the poor, uh, stealing money from the lower class, stealing money from the government, and, and, and in essence creating a slumlord environment, it's just all ignorance. And, and if you're here right now, I know you're here for the right reasons because you want to provide something for somebody that is better. You want to create a situation for another human being that's better than the one that they're currently living in, not just to get them out of poverty, not just to get them out of the projects and a situation where they're in a larger, um, maybe government subsidized uh, apartment facility or government subsidized um, condo situation, whatever it is, you know, we want to get them out of there and get them into single family rental homes that are owned by us, the private sector. Anything owned by the government guys has a tendency to be a, you know, a total crap show. I don't have to sit here and explain that to you. Things that, that the private sector can do, we can do more on a micro level. We, um, can have more control over the processes. We can have a higher care level and our budget's a little bit different. So when we talk about creating a situation for other human beings that is better, in essence, what we're doing is we're creating a situation where a family's lineage and a family's future can be changed by our ability to remove said family from a bad situation and put them in a good one. And I have plenty of clients, believe it or not, who grew up in Section 8 and who are now giving back by creating an environment and creating a home for somebody, pulling them out of the projects, putting them into a single-family rental home, and, and thus breaking that cycle of living in the projects in these bad areas, creating something where people are proud to live in, uh, with a with a level of um, you know a, a higher standard for living, something that somebody says, yes, I live on Maple Street. This is my house, and they're proud to say that because we're creating a situation for people that is so much better than what they're coming from. So you should feel good about that. On top of that, we're making a fantastic return. And of course, that's important because we're running a business and, and, and this channel, I want to teach you guys how to make money doing that. But this is a symbiotic relationship, meaning we are getting something and the tenant's getting something and we're both happy. We are filling a need for each other and we're both making out. We're both happy. Okay. This is not a parasitic relationship or a predatory relationship where we are taking something from the tenants and leaving them in a worse position, right? Everybody's benefiting from this. Tenants are getting a great place to live. The government is, is, is happy because for them, the, the supply of homes that are needed is extremely, extremely finite. It's extremely low. But the demand is extremely high. The government doesn't have the resources to create all of these homes. It's the reason, guys, why when we put a Section 8 rental on the market, we have 10 applications for it within two days. It's happening. And the reason is 
everything I've been saying on this channel for the past 12 months is starting to come to fruition. The economy is getting worse. We are sinking deeper and deeper into a recession, even though, you know, some people don't want to say that. I mean, look at the markets, look at inflation. I mean, that's, that's what it is. Okay. Um, all politics aside, look at what's happening. Okay. The, the demand for Section 8 is going through the roof and the supply is stagnant because we're stuck with people who have the old ideology of, oh, I don't want to do that. The tenants are a mess. You know, the tenants ruin the units. And it's just not true. Um, so the government is having to incentivize owners. They're going to have to keep moving rents up, which they're already doing. They're going to have to keep creating this system that incentivizes the private sector to keep buying and buying and buying. So I ask of you this, do you want to buy now? Or do you want to buy a year from now or two years from now or three years from now when everybody knows about this? Get in now. Get this thing up and running. I have people calling me every single day. I have people texting me and emailing me every single day. Rhett, let's get this thing started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Because they don't want to have to compete with the institutional investor. They can get in now for cheap. If they wait, you don't know who you're going to be going up against. And, and, and trust me, it's hard for the, for the small guy like us to compete with these monster institutional investors because they can come in and buy up neighborhood after neighborhood after neighborhood and without breaking a sweat. So it's time to get our foot in the door. If you haven't already, shoot me an email. We'll get you locked into the coaching program and get you up and running because it's time. It's time to do this. It's time to get started. Stop dragging your feet. Let's get this thing going. And when it comes to making the best of every situation, you're making money and you're helping out another human being who's not as fortunate as you. That is what matters. If we can find a way to do both of those things in one fell swoop, we're winning. Everybody's winning. So guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.